Hello and welcome to our Mass today. It's the fourth Saturday in Lent and our celebrant today is Father Joshua Scott. He's from St Bridget's Parish in Dixon and St Thomas More Parish in Campbell. It's lovely to have you with us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Dear friends, coming together to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God, and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God, and Son of Mary, Christ of mercy. Christ of mercy. You're the Word made flesh and splendour of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have made all those reborn in Christ a chosen race and a royal priesthood, grant us, we pray, the grace to will and to do what you command, that the people called to eternal life may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. The Lord revealed it to me, I was warned. Lord, that was when you opened my eyes to their scheming. I, for my part, was like a trustful lamb being led to the slaughterhouse, not knowing the schemes they were plotting against me. Let us destroy the tree in its strength. Let us cut him off from the land of the living, so that his name may be quickly forgotten. But you, Lord of hosts, who pronounce a just sentence, who probe the lions in the heart, let me see the vengeance you will take on them, for I have committed my cause to you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Lord, my God, I take shelter in you. Lord, my God, I take shelter in you. Lord God, I take refuge in you. From my pursuer, save me and rescue me lest he tear me to pieces like a lion, and drag me off with no one to rescue me. Lord, Lord my God, God I, I take shelter in you. Give judgment for me, Lord, I am just and innocent of heart. Put an end to the evil of the wicked, make the just stand firm. You who test my mind and heart, O oh, just God. Lord, Lord my God, God I, I take shelter, shelter in you. God is the shield that protects me, who saves the upright of heart. God is a just judge, slow to anger, but he threatens the wicked every day. Lord, Lord my, my God, God, I take shelter in you. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Happy are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield the harvest through perseverance. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The sisters Martha and Mary sent this message to Jesus. Lord, the man you love is ill. On receiving the message, Jesus said, This sickness will not end in death, but in God's glory. And through it, the Son of God will be glorified. Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. Yet when he learned that Lazarus was ill, he stayed where he was for two more days before saying to the disciples, let us go to Judea. On arriving, Jesus found that Lazarus had been in the tomb for four days already. When Martha heard that Jesus had come, she went to meet him. Mary remained sitting in the house. Martha said to Jesus, If you had been here, my brother would not have died, but I know that even now, whatever you ask of God, he will grant you. Your brother, said Jesus to her, will rise again. 
Martha said, I know he will rise again at the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. If anyone believes in me, even though he dies, he will live. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she said, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who was to come into this world. Jesus said in great distress, with a sigh that came straight from the heart, Where have you put him? They said, See how much he loved him. But there were some who remarked, He opened the eyes of the blind man. Could he not have prevented this man's death? Still sighing, Jesus said, Take the stone away. Martha said to him, Lord, by now he will smell. This is the fourth day. Jesus replied, Have I not told you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. Then Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you for hearing my prayer. I knew indeed that you always hear me, but I speak for the sake of all these who stand round me, so that they may believe it was you who sent me. When he had this, he cried in a loud voice, Lazarus, here, come out. The dead man came out, his feet and hands bound with bands of stuff and the cloth round his face. Jesus said to them, Unbind him, let him go free. Many of the Jews who had come to visit Mary and had seen what he did, believed in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What a tremendous gospel. Here we have Jesus' friend, Lazarus, dead, four days. And by the time he got there, he was well sealed in the tomb. By the time Jesus got to his friend, everything, everyone had walked away from that tomb and he was dead and buried. And yet when Christ came amidst that grief, and amidst that situation and wanted to see Lazarus, what was his response? A deep groan from the heart, a deep sigh. What a human response. What grief that we see with our Lord today. And yet, we hear him say very clearly, I am the resurrection and the life. If anyone believes in me, even though he dies, he will live. From that part of pain and grief, Christ speaks into those places peace and authority and he raises his friend Lazarus from the dead the beautiful thing is if he does that for his friends what does he do for his family as we're baptized into Christ into his family united as the body of Christ he went an extra step for us he didn't have to have raise his friend from the dead for us he himself took everything that it is of us, our weakness, our strength, our wounds, our sins, the beauty of life. And he took it all to the cross. If that wasn't enough, he took it to the resurrection. In death, he brought the death to sin by his death on the cross so we can have life, life everlasting with him. And all because of the profound love he has for you and me. So let's trust in him, our way, truth and life. Let's trust in the power that he has. And as he grieved for Lazarus and he cared for Lazarus, so he loves and cares for you too, where you are and yearns to come deeper into your life. Let's bring on that invitation and walk with our way, our beautiful Jesus who loves us so much.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the gifts we offer from our fasting be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray. And as an expiation for our sins, may they make us worthy of your grace and lead us to what you promise for eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, with Christopher our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. 
have mercy on us all, we pray. That's with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord, Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Christ was handed over to gather into one the scattered children of God. At this time of communion, though we can't physically partake in communion, let's just take a moment to bring everything into this time of prayer. If we have a spiritual act of communion that we have with us, we can pray that at this time. If not, we just ask for all the blessings and peace of God to be with us in this short period of time of prayer. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, 
that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers in his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Have mercy, Lord, on your church as she brings you her supplications and be attentive to those who incline their hearts before you. Do not allow, we pray, those you have redeemed by the death of your only begotten Son to be harmed by their sins or weighed down by their trials. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. God bless you. We're praying for you always. And let's keep journeying towards the beautiful feast of Easter. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for our Mass today. It's important that we care for one another and stay connected. So please use our Catholic Voice website. It's there for you with gospel readings and spiritual reflections.